Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 87 for 4. So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Liverpool versus Arsenal. So Liverpool versus Arsenal will take place at Anfield at April 9th, um, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Of course, the stadium will be at, um, then you can watch this game on the Peacock and obviously NBC Sports as well. And there will be a live reaction to the game. A live reaction to the game following the game at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll be discussing in the game with some, hopefully, some Liverpool and Arsenal fans. So if you're, a, if you're, we have, if we have any Liverpool fans or Arsenal fans, please hit me up in direct messages, and I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link, guys. I'll send you the link on Streamyard. So now that I've kind of discussed about what the game is like and what you need to do, let's go ahead and talk about what this means for both teams. I think I want to start with that. So for me personally, this is a very important game for both teams. Because, for obviously, for Liverpool, this season's been really bad. Liverpool, as of the time recording this video, um, they're currently 8th. 43 points, and it's looking really bad. It's looking really bad for Liverpool. They're 10 points off the of top 4. Now, there is still a chance that they get top 4, but if they really want to really um, make use of the opportunity, they need to win this game. This is a huge, huge game, especially at Anfield, with the momentum on your side, with the fans on your side. This is such a crucial, crucial game. Likewise, the same could be said for Arsenal. Arsenal also need this win too to can um, to continue their title charge, you know. And Arsenal need this win in a way to like boot um to make points because obviously this will be um, one of their biggest games yet this season, you know. Uh, playing uh, Liverpool away and Anfield is a very difficult atmosphere. It's it's insane. The atmosphere over there is one of the craziest atmospheres in the world, you know. And I just think that for Arsenal in particular, this is this would be a huge game for their character and how can they respond to one of the most difficult atmospheres in the Premier League. Because Liverpool only lost one game in the Premier League this season, which was to Leeds United at home. They beat Man City. They beat Man United 7-0. They beat Man, Man City 1-0. They even drew with Chelsea. They have kept three clean sheets against the top six teams, which is pretty commendable. Um, and th the fact they were able to do that just shows how good this club has been in the big games. You know, it's just that the problem with Liverpool this season, they've just not been great in the games that they should be winning. Like, for example, against, you know, Crystal Palace, you know, then, you know, Wolves, you know, etc. And that's the thing with this Liverpool team is that they have been struggling in games that they should be winning. You know, the problem with this Liverpool team is that there is no consistency at display. Whereas for Arsenal, they've been very consistent this season. You know, only dropping points in six occasions out of... 28 nine games which is pretty commendable to say the least so coming into this game there's a lot to discuss and um yeah and i also do think that this there's a lot to discuss here and there's a title thing now i want to quickly discuss about this i want to know i especially want to hear from liverpool fans what you guys think about this because for me liverpool is in a really huge um dilemma here right that um you we're gonna basically either have man city or arsenal win the league it's gonna be one of those two teams it's not gonna be newcastle not gonna be united not gonna be spurs not gonna be brighton None of these other clubs. It's going to be between Arsenal and Man City. And if you're a Liverpool fan, do you, which one do you rather want to win? You know, because for me, as a Liverpool fan, believe it or not, I would actually prefer Man City to win the league than Arsenal. Because here's the thing, right? Yes, Arsenal. Uh, yes, Man City, you have that hatred towards. Obviously, they've denied you several Premier League titles, obviously, last season, most notably. And then, obviously, this season where you guys finished one point behind, 98 and 97. And obviously, you know, some other examples you can give, you know. The thing is, though, that if you guys allow Arsenal to win the league, Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp's legacy of the Premier League is going to look bad. It's going to look bad. And that all Jurgen Klopp has done with Liverpool is that one Premier League title, which, don't go wrong, has been amazing. That, you know, that's Liverpool's first title in 30 years. It will now, it won't be as, like, looked upon or as, and you know, people won't be as impressed or remember it because of how good this Arsenal team is. And let's be real, guys. That Ars this Arsenal team is way worse than Liverpool team in 2018, 2019, 2019, 2020. You know, and this Arsenal team have is is taking a few a lesser years to make to get to that stage. You know, whereas with Liverpool, they have done they that was I believe their fifth season. I think I think it was fourth or fifth. No, no, wait, let me see. That was the fifth season. No, no, that was the fourth fourth season. First one, Arteta. That is his third full season. You know. Um, and the thing is, like, it's going to look really bad, you know, and I just think that Liverpool fans are going to, it's going to look really bad as well. The fact that they allowed Arsenal to win the league would be really, really bad. And so I just think that if you're a Liverpool fan, you're in a huge dilemma here. And I think 
a lot of people won't even respect Klopp for that Premier League title, especially if, if Arteta manages to win it, you know. Now, don't worry, there will obviously still be respect. I think there will still be a ton of respect, but I just think it's going to look really bad on Liverpool's part that they weren't able to win more Premier League titles if they only won one, whereas Arsenal just came in, all of a sudden, they started pushing for the title this season, never before this season, and all of a sudden they win the Premier League title in their first attempt. Whereas with Liverpool, they've only won like three, um, you know, seriously pushed under Jurgen Klopp three times, only won one. You know, that is going to look really bad. So, you know, I just want to know what you guys think of what Liverpool fans think in particular because it's a very interesting um, dilemma here in particular for this one. So, now let's go look at the table itself. I want to show you guys a graphic here. So, let's go ahead and look at the Premier League table. So, let me go ahead and zoom my webcam here. So, hopefully you guys could see this page here. So, let me go ahead and zoom in if, if the guys cannot see properly so as you guys can see right here guys liverpool as the time recording this video are currently on eighth in the premier league right um with 43 points right whereas arsenal on the other hand is on 72 points and if you look at liverpool's fixtures it's actually very very brutal so um we're gonna actually look at their fixtures and then we'll talk about the team light ups the team news and then tactics and then give you guys a prediction this will be a big well, preview video if you could if you could already tell so as you guys can see, they have Arsenal at home, then they have Leeds away, then they have Nottingham Forest, West Ham away, then Spurs at home, Fulham at home, then Brentford at home, and then Leicester City away, Liverpool, oh, uh, sorry, Liverpool at home against Villa, and then obviously Southampton. So as you guys can see right here, guys, these are not easy games. These are not easy games. Now, Liverpool is l really fortunate that they have basically um, three home games in a row, and this could be the make or break for Liverpool because... Liverpool this season have been great on them at, at home. At home, they've been amazing. It's just their road form has been really, really diabolical. The road form has been tragic, to say the least. And I think if they could pull off these wins at home, and especially away, then I think they could be doing something. Because let's be real, guys. After the Arsenal game, they have a lot of winnable games. Like, Leeds is winnable. Nottingham Forest is winnable. West Ham is winnable. Okay, Fulham might be difficult, because the Fulham have been good this season. Spurs at home, they should win. Like, really, the... Really, the only real difficult game I see after the Arsenal game is probably Fulham, you know, and maybe Brentford. Actually, I'll, I'll say Brentford. I'll say uh, Fulham and Brentford, right? But after those two games, I think every other game is very winnable for Liverpool, so they have to capitalize upon this, you know. And you look at Arsenal in particular, they got some tough games to, to play, guys. Arsenal still have to play Newcastle away, then they still have to play Man City on the road. This is going to be a huge difficult junk for Arsenal, as you can see right here, guys. You know, they also have Chelsea as well at Stamford, I mean, sorry, at Emirates. Then they have Brighton, then Southampton, then West Ham on the road, Nottingham Forest on the road, and then they finish up with Wolves at home. So, the this is really big. This is one of Arsenal's toughest games on the road this season, the EPL. And it'll be really interesting to see how Arsenal approach this one because they need to get, they need to at least get two points, in my opinion, of these three games. Because if they get zero or one or below, um, then they're in really trouble. I'd say they need... If they can beat Newcastle and they can beat Liverpool, they can afford to lose against Man City. But can they win both those away games? I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Not really sure. So, now let's go ahead and look into the insights for this game, guys. Insights, insights. You know? So, insights, man. Liverpool have won their last six home Premier League games against Arsenal, scoring at least three times in each game, man. 22 goals in total. Arsenal looking to complete their first league double over Liverpool since 2009-2010 campaign, while the Gunners lost last one consecutive league games against Reds back in September 2012. Arsenal kept a clean sheet in just 20% of their Premier League games against Liverpool, their lowest ratio in the competition. The Gunners have also failed to score more different Premier League games against Liverpool than they have against any other opponent. 20. This is the ninth time Arsenal have faced Liverpool in the Premier League while top of the league with their previous eight games producing a total of 33 goals. On average of over four per game, 54 or so 18 for Liverpool. One of those games came out of the exact date, April 9, 2004, with the gutters running out four two winners at Highbury. Liverpool won five of their last six Premier League home games, including each of the last three by an aggregate score eleven nil. The Reds haven't conceded in the last seven hours and twenty six minutes of league football at Anfield since Kieran Dewey's Kieran Dewey's hail strike for Leicester in December. That's the thing, man. Liverpool is that it just feels as though at home they're a different beast. At at home they're a different different beast, man. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see how Arsenal approaches one. Now, let's look at the injuries for both teams here, guys, as you guys can see right here. Injuries, man. Injuries. Right? So, as you guys can see, Virgil van Dijk is doubtful for the game. Thiago Alcantara is doubtful. Um, He's going to be out for the game, it seems. Bajasitega is definitely out. 
Reese Williams he could be out for the game. Nabi Keita is going to be out. Luis Diaz is going to be out. Kava Ramsey is going to be out. As for Arsenal, William Saliba is going to be out for this game. Takira Tomiyasu is going to be out. He's out for the season, I heard. Mohamed Elneny is out for a few days. And Edward Enkatia is out for a few days. My big concern with Arsenal is that how are they going to do defensively? Because defensively, man, Arsenal have been kind of looking a little sketchy. Now, I know they've kept a lot of clean sheets in a row. Um, I know um, they've been good defensively speaking. They haven't really conceded many goals. But they haven't kept a clean sheet since the Fulham game. And remember, guys, Saliba played that game, you know. And Arsenal recently have um, Arsenal been, sorry, Rob Holding will likely play this game. And I don't trust Rob Holding whatsoever, guys. Rob Holding is a terrible defender. Absolutely terrible defender. And I, I really do worry for what Ar uh, Liverpool could do to him because they could really exploit his um, his weaknesses. Um, and we saw how good, we saw how bad he was in that uh, North London derby last season, you know. And so that's going to be a big concern. So if I'm an Arsenal fan, I would not be happy with um, 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 Rob Holding, of course. So let's go look at this 11. So this is pretty much 11 that they played against Leeds. This will probably be a somewhat of a similar 11, maybe have some tweaks in there. Obviously, Rams double starting goal, no doubt about that. But obviously, Ben White will start at the right back. Center backs will be Gabriel Holding, Zinchenko. Um, and then obviously, Jaka, Partey, Odegaard. And then Martinelli, Jesus, and Trossar. Now... Is there a chance that Saka might start? Because I'm sure Saka will start this game. So we could see potentially Saka come in for Trossard and Trossard go to the left. Because Martinelli, for me, post-World Cup has not been that great. You know? And then maybe we could see, like, Emil Smith-Rowe be the replacement for Martinelli. Like, I don't think Martinelli will start. You know? Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how um, um, Arteta approaches that. And how will he approach with the center back position? Will he put, like... Maybe Zinchenko at center back and maybe Tierney at left back because I did hear some Arsenal fans actually talk talk about that and maybe try that out. And I just think it's going to be really interesting how hard Arsenal do defensively speaking because for me, their attack is great. It's just defensively, they look a bit vulnerable. And especially in the second half in particular, I've noticed is that Arsenal have conceded goals in the second half in particular. And that's where they tend to let their guard down loose. And this is where I think Liverpool can exploit, right? You know, and I'm um, looking at the foot mob here, right? It says here, goals per match, 1.7, and Arsenal is 0 0.9. Liverpool. Now, let's go look at Liverpool team real quick. Let's go look at the, um, let's look at um, uh, their last game. So, the last game they played against was Chelsea, nil-nil draw. And this is the lineup that we saw from Liverpool, guys. So, Liverpool started Nunes on the left, Romino in the middle, Jota on the right. And then, obviously, uh, Salah wasn't, um, Salah came off the bench, which was a bit odd. Maybe Salah, maybe they're resting Salah for the Arsenal game, perhaps. Uh, anyways, Fabinho, Jones, Henderson, and then you yeah, Joe Gomez at right back, Matip, and Konate and Simika. So maybe Trent was also rested as well. So maybe, maybe Jurgen Klopp had that um, Arsenal game in mind, or I don't know what happened, you know? And so it's going to be really interesting to see how Arsenal, uh, Liverpool approach this one, because like I said, man, it's going to be very interesting, because they were not really good against Chelsea, man. They were not particularly great. So I think what's going to come down for me for this game is how will Liverpool, what version of Liverpool are we going to see? Are we going to see Liverpool be the high-pressing, um, gigapress team that will press the living heck out of Arsenal? Or are we going to see Liverpool approach a counter-attacking strategy against Arsenal? That's just where I'm really fascinated to see. Because, in my personal opinion, I feel like Liverpool will actually take the more initiative in this game um, because of the fact it's at Anfield. See, if it was at um, Emirates Stadium, I do think our Liverpool will be more counterattacking. But because this is at Anfield, I think Liverpool will definitely take the game to Arsenal. Because we saw the last time the two teams played against each other. I actually want to show you guys this. I thought we need to talk about the head-to-head -head real quick. I just realized as well. And as you can see, the last time they played against each other, I believe it was in October, I believe. Yeah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Why isn't it showing on Google? Uh, where is it, man? Why isn't it showing? It should be showing here. Aha, uh -huh, here we go, October, yep, October 9th, 2022. So as you can see right here, guys, Liverpool actually took the more possession in the game, 56% possession. But despite the fact they had more possession, Arsenal had more shots on target and more attempts, you know. And that's the thing with this one, is that it's going to be really interesting to see how uh, Liverpool approach this one, because like I said, man, they're um, very, um, they're going to have more possession, I would imagine, you know. And Arsenal will definitely be, I think Arsenal will definitely approach this game with the high press and, that kind of thing. But I, I do think this will be a very even game in terms of possession. I think Liverpool will hold most of possession in this game. Arsenal will be counterattacking and try to see if they can score. Because we know Liverpool this season, their high line has been really, really bad. And obviously, defensively, they look a bit vulnerable. But then again, then, this is an Anfield, man. So that you have to take that in consideration. And so I think Arsenal will definitely approach this game with the mindset of obviously trying to win. Trying to play out. 
you know, go all in. But, you know, what I really worry for Arsenal is that, kind of like what we saw against United, is that how they do in the counterattacks. Because I think Liverpool can definitely do some counterattacks in this game and they can expose Arsenal, especially with Rob Holding um, defensively being very reliable. I think it'll be interesting to see how our, uh, Liverpool approach this one. So, it's going to be very interesting, guys. I think both teams will definitely go for it. As for my prediction for this game, guys, it's a very difficult game to call. I am going to sit on the fence. I'm going to sit on the fence and say 1-1 draw. I was tempted to actually pick Liverpool to win, but I just feel that Arsenal will show show up and have that fortitude, and they'll try to grind out a draw. I feel like Liverpool, for me, will score in the first half, and I think Liverpool will just be too comfortable. They're like, oh, the game's done, and then they'll try to like you know be a bit more defensive in the second half, try to see out the game, and the Arsenal hit them on the counterattack, and I think Arsenal will equalize from that point. So I think Liverpool, the goal scorers for me, I'm going to say goal score. I think Nunes will score. I think Liverpool, Nunes will score because Nunes has been Liverpool's best player, attacking player at the moment right now, in my opinion. And for Arsenal, I will actually say something tells me we're going to see like a unexpected player of score for some reason. I, I don't know why, but I have this feeling that it won't be like a forward for some reason. I have a feeling it might be like Thomas Partey. You know, he might just equalize out of nowhere. Or maybe like Zinchenko might equalize or something. You know, um... And yeah, I just think it's going to be really interesting. So I want to know your score predictions for the comments below, guys. I'm really fascinated with this game. It should be an exciting game on Sunday. I hope I did a good analysis. Please let me know if I missed anything with this game, guys. And yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment section below. Like this video, enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. And also consider becoming a member of the channel, guys, to get access to members' videos and member streams, guys. So I've already put several members' videos for you out, guys, so you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, like I said, guys. Um, be a, consider becoming a member of the channel, man. It does really help the channel grow. And, of course, the money that you guys give to the channel will be um, used for the channel's sake. So it will improve the content so I can get, like, you know, microphone. I can get better quality, stream our premium, etc. man. really does help the channel grow. Anyways, I hope you guys can enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.